spent sort of the rest of the night hanging out and chatting. Let's be honest. It was mostly Rachel and I watching Matt and David fall into a very deep romance. <laughs> <laughs> it's ongoing. Uh, no, but ever since then, we've just been great friends. And it's just an honor to be here today. And, um, I think I speak for everybody. We're just excited to be here. Congratulations. Um, on behalf of Matt and Rachel, um, they wanted us to greet you guys and not only just say thank you so much for being here on this special day for them, but to just let you all know how much you mean to them, um, how much your love and support over however long you've known them um, means to them, and the fact that you're here for this special day means the world to them, and please continue to love and support them through this new part of their journey together. Okay, so we are going to read a passage from the late astrophysicist Carl Sagan. Yes. And Matt, <laughs> out there. Matt and Rachel chose this passage because it really sort of represents what they stand for. It represents their, uh, their values and, um, and just their, their beliefs. So we're going to read this by Carl Sagan. The size and the age of the cosmos are beyond what our minds can easily comprehend. Lost somewhere between its immensity and eternity lies our tiny planetary home. Our planet is so astonishing, packed full of mountains, deserts, seas, all the plants and animals, glorious wonders we can share. On the earth walks mankind with all its faults to bear, yet ever so exquisite with so much love and moral depth. May we remain grateful every day on earth that we live for the brief but wondrous opportunity that all of life is. Although ma mankind is faulty, we continue to thrive. The sum of all thinking, all our, all our accomplishments is love. From within one of the billions of species to walk upon this tiny speck in the universe, we find two imperfect people who want to share their short lives, living it as one. May this marriage make two fractional lives and make those fractional lives a whole. May these partners build a better world for the next generation to come. May this union bring a new light to the sunshine, a new fragrance to the flowers, a new beauty to the earth, and a new mystery to life. <laughs> so at this time, uh, Matt and Rachel have both written some vows that they would like to share with you. <laughs> <laughs> written them down so they don't have to go memorize. Matt, Rachel first. Okay, I need some water. <laughs> don't be nervous. <laughs> Don't be nervous. <laughs> okay. When I became a mother for the first time, my heart expanded with a love beyond anything I've ever experienced. The second time, my heart expanded again, but I wasn't sure that there was room for more until I met and fell in love with you. Um, it feels as if we've experienced more love, passion, and excitement together than any other phenomenon that's been unleashed into our universe. I believe in all the beauty, all the mystery, and all the wonder of life. And I believe that these joys are multiplied when you have someone to share them with. And I'm here today because I choose you to be that person. Your love is the essence of my life and has transformed my entire being. Matt, you encourage and inspire me to be the person I always dreamed of being, and display the qualities of a man that I always dreamed our boys becoming, because you are the most awe-inspiring person I've ever known. Our enthusiasm for growing and learning is one of the top virtues that I treasure in our partnership, and I promise I will never cease to pursue. As your wife, I promise to respect you for who you are 
and to give you your interests, desires, and needs as much importance as my own. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> I promise to always keep myself open to you and let you see into my innermost feelings and fears, secrets, and dreams. Today, as I stand here saying my vows to you and promising my whole life and being to you, I'm amazed at the beautiful privileges that I've received because we've chosen each other. Matt, I get to laugh with you and cry with you, care for you and share with you. I get to grow with you and stumble with you, build with you and live with you. <laughs> I get to learn with you and discover with you. And most importantly, Matt, I get to love you with all that I have to give and all that I feel inside in the only way I know how, completely, absolutely, and forever. Rachel, being with you has been a journey like nothing I've ever had. I remember how magnetized we were to each other when we first met. How I spent every waking second when we were apart trying to figure out how to <laughs> I remember how annoying we were to our friends because they couldn't break into our Matt Rachel bubble <laughs> every time we were together. One of my favorite memories was watching you get off the plane to come visit me when I was working in Florida. I remember watching you walk up to me with that big smile on your face and thinking, oh my god, this girl just flew across the country right now, I think, for about an entire weekend. There's something special happening here. I can't think. I can't help but think about how things change over time. How I started to realize that there was something that was being built for the bigger picture. How we became more in love. How the boys became a bigger part of my life. <laughs> I love how alike we are. How we care less about doing things the way they've always been done, as you can see. <laughs> Our idea of a dream vacation is lounging around. With, with, as a family, in the past of a pool, and enjoying not having a care in the world. I love how different we are. How I have a window in a different into a different perspective on things and through someone who I can give my full self to and feel safe with even if you don't always see eye to eye. <laughs> I'm excited to share my life with someone who sees the world and its future the way I do, who shares with me the same passion for progress and improvement both for ourselves and the people around us. I'm overjoyed to continue on the journey of raising two amazing boys with someone who is so dedicated to guiding me to the end of the world. Devin. I'm so lucky to have two of the most incredible boys in the world to call my sons. I promise to always try and be the best, best dad I can be. I promise to be your wrestling buddy, your basketball <laughs> coach, your math teacher, your breakfast cook, and most importantly, to always kill all the big scary bugs that come in the house. <laughs> Rachel, I thank you for being the most incredible part, life partner you've already been, and for sharing the love of the two most amazing and awesome boys on the planet. I thank you for being yourself and letting you be mine. I thank you, and I vow to always keep the needs of you and our family as my top priority. To always strive to be present, to remember to reach out to connect, and to be patient and loving regardless of what I do. From this day on, I will love you with all of my heart. I will engage you with all of myself. I will protect you with all of my might, and I will stand next to you for the rest of my life. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, at this time, Matt and Rachel are going to exchange rings. Um, they've chosen to wear these rings as a symbol to the world of their love and their commitment to one another. So Rachel, I'm going to place that on Matt's finger and your company. May this ring be a symbol. May this ring be a symbol of our unassailable marriage. Of our unassailable marriage. And a reminder of our vows. And a reminder of our vows. And that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Let's place ring on May this ring be a symbol. May this ring be a symbol. Of our unassailable marriage. Of our unassailable marriage. And a reminder of our vows. And a reminder of our vows. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now this is the fun part. We're going to make this official. 
um, before they seal it with a kiss. Um, we want you guys, this is a party, this is a celebration. So after uh, David pronounces them, um, we want you guys to just look it up. Use your minds, go crazy. <laughs> Okay, so, by the power vested in me, the internet, and the state of California, I now pronounce you married. Please seal the <laughs>